Good morning, Chansey Cardinals, teachers, and staff. It's time for our Cardinal Weekly News. It is October 5th through the 29th, and this is a week, a, a lengthy weekly announcement. So listen carefully. Good morning, Chansey Cardinals. We have a big week ahead of us. Here's the weather report for this week. We're going to have rain on Monday, 68 degrees. Tuesday, no rain, but 64 degrees, so much cooler. Um, Wednesday, chances of thunderstorms with uh, warmer weather coming in. And then Thursday, rain again and uh, cooler temperatures. But then Friday, finishing off with hopefully some sunshine, but then mild temperatures as well. So remember those coats and rain boots, Chansey Cardinals. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We had so much fun on Friday. Thursday, we were at, at our whew, Boys and girls, I can't talk this morning. At our Apex Fun Run, you all raise money that's not only for Chansey Elementary, but for your class as well. So all those proceeds, 10% of it, go to your classroom so that your teachers can get things for you all. So I hope you had a really good time at the Apex Fun Run. You did it through rain and shine. You all are some warriors. It was really impressive, and it was really cool to see the fun that you had that day. Nice job, and thanks to our PTA and our parents for helping us out. And to the Apex team. And the yes, Apex team. The Apex team. it was fun. It was a fun event. All right, this week for our Cardinal Way, um, just a reminder that boys and girls um, and staff, we are going to start reciting our student pledge every single day. This is a pledge that um, your student council, last year's student council, um, your PBIS team, um, and several of the leadership teams, we all looked at this pledge and we decided to craft something that we think you all can say every single day. And when I say you all, I mean the students can um, recite every single day. Um, it is a pledge that is important and special to only the Chansey Cardinals here at our school. Um, but this is something that we will recite every morning over the morning announcements after we say the pledge. And I know that all of your teachers have a copy of this pledge. Um, student pledge that they have in their classrooms. So in the beginning, you'll just kind of recite after us, but eventually, boys and girls, you will have this memorized and you will believe every single word that's in that student pledge and it will help you as you navigate or get through your day every day every day here at Chansey. So Burton, if I'm a teacher, where do I find that pledge? The pl every single teacher got a copy of the pledge. Um, it should be, it's laminated. You got it at the beginning of the school year. And it's also something that I went over during the um, training that we had, where we talked about, it was the recorded, recorded training where we talked about behavior expectations. So I've noticed most teachers have them hanging in their rooms, but if you need a copy or an, another copy, let me know and I can get one for you. That, that's, that's not a problem at all. Okay. But I'm excited to start reciting this. I am too. Yay. All right. All right, Chansey Cardinals, this week is Red Ribbon Week, and it's a week of where we focus on making healthy choices. So on Monday, everybody's going to be wearing red today. Um, and then Tuesday um, is being drug-free is no sweat, so wear sweatshirt, pants, or workout clothes. And then Wednesday, team up against drugs. You can wear your Chansey Cardinal gear, so that's spirit wear, anything that says Chansey on it, Team Chansey. And Thursday is lay off drugs. So that's a Hawaiian or a beach theme. Lays are those necklaces that are Hawaii's famous for. And we're going to give a bunch of those out. Uh, Friday, show good character and say no to drugs. Dress as your favorite storybook character. So these would be costumes that are related to books that you've read. It's going to be a fun week. Yay. Oh, and boys and girls, this week is our Cardinal Awards. Woo, I'm so excited to celebrate those students who have received the principals list, meaning all A's or O's on your report card. Students who've received honor roll, meaning all S's um, and O's or A's and B's. And then any student who has displayed great citizenship or conduct within their classroom. So we will be celebrating you all this week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're going to um, break it up by grades. So your teachers will let you know the day and time and teachers I've sent an email out to let you know and I'll send some reminders um, this uh, at the end of the week. So I'm excited to celebrate our Cardinals. I am too. Oh, and boys and girls, teachers and staff, a few weeks ago, we had Nurse Sylvia, no, we had Nurse Dana on our, um, on our morning announcements. And today we have Nurse Sylvia. She's going to answer some questions. 
just about COVID and kind of keep us all in the loop and better understand things so that we recognize there's nothing to fear, but we do have to protect ourselves. Welcome, Sylvia. Yay. Hi. Hey. So the first question, if I get COVID, will I get sick? Um, everybody is different. So symptoms can range from being absolutely no symptoms at all to more of the more severe symptoms. Typically, kids um, don't really show that many symptoms. However, they can. There are some specific symptoms related to COVID, like if you can't smell or if you can't taste, that's kind of a sign that you have COVID. Um, sometimes it's like a common cold and other times it's more of like a flu symptoms. So yeah, you normally people do have a little bit of symptoms, but it's not always super, super scary. So. Thank you. Thanks, right. Sylvia. Um, the next one is school a safe place. Yes, it is a safe place. There are definitely measures in place to help keep students and staff safe. Um, those include masking, um, social distancing, hand washing, and the weekly COVID test. Those all help identify um, potential cases of COVID and it helps reduce the risk of spreading it. And then if you do get sick, um, you can be tested down here in the office um, and that can help um, identify COVID earlier. So to help keep your, your classmates safe. And I would add to, and the seating charts, boys and girls, that's why we've had to say everybody has to sit in this specific spot. We've had to even separate big grade levels from the playground. So we're doing everything we can to keep school as safe as it can be. Yes. Good point. Do I have to stay home if I get sick with COVID-19? Yes, you do have to stay home. Um, it's 10 days from the start of when symptoms happen. You have to stay home for 10 days. And the reasoning behind that is because you don't want to share those germs with your classmates or your teachers. Um, it's always good to stay away from people if you are sick so that you don't get them sick. Okay. And I, I just want to add a couple things. Number one, boys and girls, I am incredibly proud of you because you all are handling this beautifully. You are, you're wearing your masks every once in a while. There's one or two people that the mask falls off and we have to constantly remind you, but we're not reminding you just because we don't have better things to do. We're reminding you because we want to prevent the spread of anyone getting sick. I think the second question was, will I have to, um, what was the second question? I apologize now. Oh, it's school oh, a safe place. It's school a safe place. Absolutely. It's because you're helping us stay safe. You all are the main contributing factors to why we are, our COVID numbers have been very low. Uh, throughout Jefferson County, at one point, we were in the red again, meaning everyone, not everyone, I guess a lot of people really had COVID and the, the numbers were just really high. But at the Chansey, I'll tell you, it's been fairly low and it's because of each of you. You all are credited to helping us stay safe, helping us stay in school and helping us continue to learn. Um, do you have to stay home? Yeah, it's just like the flu. If you get the flu, you stay home. It's, it's no big deal. It's the cold. If you have a cold, you stay home. If you have the flu or strep throat or ear infection, yeah, you stay home because we don't want to spread it with anyone else or to anyone else. So thank you, Nurse Sylvia. I just wanted to recap that. And I just wanted to most importantly remind everyone that it's really up to you all. And thank you all for helping us keep Chansey safe. Yes, and shout out to our nurses, Nurse Dana and Nurse Sylvia, who are here every single week to help us. I know their office is always busy because they are helping out all of our Chansey Cardinals. So thank you all for all your help. Yes, yeah. thank you both. We have been blessed with two fantastic nurses. Yeah, and they're helping with things thank far you. beyond COVID. They're helping with all the yeah. bumps and bruises and things. And so we couldn't ask for two better people. Thank you. Yep. yep. Birthday books is this Friday. Boys and girls, listen to the announcements. We'll be calling you down at the end of the day so you can get your free book from the PTA um, as a way to say happy birthday to all of our October Cardinals. All righty. Gosh, this is a busy week. Busy. Cardinals and costume. This makes me excited, almost as excited as our celebrations of everything you've done the last grading period. Our fall family fun night is happening this Thursday from 6 to 7.30. 
you can trick or treat and dress in your favorite storybook character on Thursday and just come and hang out at, at the Jancy. And so mm -hmm. I know Miss Burton and some other people are still conjuring up some other surprises <laughs> for us. I, I can't even. I, oh, I, yeah. I Fun time. Well, I mean, I Miss Ivory's pretty simple. Miss Burton's pretty extra. So <laughs> if that tells you anything, I like the basics, but she is going to surprise us and it'll be fantastic. So I can't wait to see you all with your moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, whoever you want to bring with you to celebrate family fun and dressing in your favorite Chansey Cardinal costume. All right, boys and girls, you are smart, you are capable, and you'll change the world. Game on. It's going to be a busy week, so let's do this. Bye, Cardinals. Have a great week. Bye. Have a good week, Cards. Have a good week.